Just at stream people. attendee. IP logger, it says. Oh, that should have been the stream name. Frick. Face reveal win. I'm, I already did a face. Hold up. Let me bring the camera up. I'm, I'm not going to use my face for the entirety of the stream, but I can bring my camera up for just a moment. If you wanted to see my face, here I am. I am honestly just kind of bored. I'm not going to be using my face for this stream just because I don't feel like it, but I do have a face cam and I do have a green screen and it's a little bit glitchy. Just don't think about it too hard, okay? <laughs> All right. Hello, people. <laughs> What? Okay, thank you, Pi Warrior 21 Very cool. <laughs> Gentlemen, welcome to Drip or Drown 8. I think we're on 8. Here today, there's two things I have to address before we start with the festivities of the day. Uh, number one is this map. This map is a very old map. It is a map coded in a lot of history and a lot of floating pyro, apparently. Pi, I'm actually gonna kick you if you frick- <laughs> This map is Trade Sun City. It was originally made for a Steam clan called Sun, abbreviation for Summit Under Nothing, and it has a lot of history, it is very old, and it died a few years ago. But I have a bit of personal history on this map as well, so basically I may or may not have kind of paid someone to go grave digging. They found the map, fixed it up, made it so anybody can join it, and now it is here for you today. Uh, it's a huge map with a lot of stuff. Now, granted, the original server had a lot more because I couldn't get my hands on the original plugins they had for that server, but I did get one of them. Now, if you're interested, there is a sandbox area here. If I go up to the sandbox area and type exclamation mark TFS, it'll bring up a prop spawner menu. Using that prop spawner menu, you can spawn props. And then, the best part of all, you can edit them. They are solid, they cannot be moved through, they cannot be shot through. This effectively makes it so you can have Gary's mod in Team Fortress 2. I'm going to make a complete separate video on this at some point. However, just so you're aware, this is coming in the future and this is what makes this map special. Okay, see, there's something else I was supposed to address before we start. Ah, yes, that's right. Gentlemen, I have but a simple request to make. Subscribe to SamWiz2. <laughs> I have made a second channel. It will mostly be used for stream archives, but I might also publish just some random clips every now and then on it. So I'm gonna put a link to that in chat and it will include in the video subscribe to samwiz2 that that's a thing now <laughs> gosh i refresh the page and it immediately jumps from seven subscribers to 20 I, I published one video over the last month i'm not gonna lie i've just been busy with other crap i had finals week and now i'm working all in on the arg and it's basically i'm just trying to make an adventure puzzle for some people and it's taken some time so i'm sorry i haven't published that much this month when we get back into the summer in july i'm gonna try to go for daily uploads again for about two months so have that on your radar that July and August are going to be big buck months for me if you are interested in the business of it. All right, let's just get to the dripper drone since I can't really think of anything else. The theme for today, so you know how last time we were in the bathrooms, it was partner edition. We kind of did that because it was Valentine's Day. It was February. We felt like, eh, we might be able to swing this as an event thing. And that actually went pretty well. Now, obviously it was fairly stressful, but it did result in a lot of good loadouts. So we're doing something similar today that I think will have the opposite effect and will make things a lot worse, but it would be funny. Instead of doing co-op two-person, we're doing versus two-person. When you join the server, you will spawn down here in this room right here. This flying pyro will attempt to sort you into pairs at complete random. Uh, once you are sorted into pairs, you will proceed up this hallway, and this will be where the line forms, and then you will be judged by me and Steel as usual. However, there's a catch. One of you will always win, and one of you will always lose. So basically, you're not trying to create a good loadout necessarily, you're just trying to have a better loadout than your partner. A shame both oh, can't oh. lose. Eh, we, we might be able to swing both losing if there's some particularly despicable yeah, loadouts out yeah, there. I... What should the password be? Versus. Ah, it's not funny. What's the technical term for killing someone in the family? Fratricide? Fratricide, yes. Let's have that be the password. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. All right, the password has been changed. The password is fratricide with a capital F. All right. <laughs> I think this is pretty funny. I, I do enjoy this. Yeah. Places, everybody. Oh, Execute order 66. And the that's part yeah. about smite binding that. Hmm? <laughs> You're such a snitch. <laughs> Hold on, look in chat. We got Grug in iron armor. He is screaming, bones suck, iron stronger than calcium. That'll be interesting to pay attention to. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I smited him, how is he alive? <laughs> how is 
see her live. You're going to pin this man to the ceiling. All right, I think it's time to get started. Gentlemen, let's begin. Oh, First up it. in the versus match, shiny spy enthusiast with a bunch of yellow spy crab cosmetics. Or, sorry, Australian gold, not yellow. And the spirit of Crackmas, a regular. He has shiny revolver. He has a dragon slayer knife. That's actually really cool. <laughs> shiny spy crab, level 39 mascot. Years of searching and money spent. Worth it. And aside from that, crustaceous cowl and the blood banker. And then you have spirit of Crackmas. Is there anything new about this? Completely normal Kriegs machine. I'm going to be entirely honest. I am leaning with the shiny spy enthusiast on this one. Yeah. Because on the one hand, yes, yeah, Spirit of Crackmas is Spirit of Crackmas. On the other hand, this guy does have two matching yellow spy cosmetics. And on top of that, he has a bunch of really cool weapons. Fight, win. Okay. You win and you lose. Next up, <laughs> J. Jonah Jameson oh, 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 and like Mushroom it. Gremlin. <laughs> <laughs> you know, something about it. Okay. I don't know why. The kill streak Iron Curtain. Somehow, J. Jonah Jameson having the Iron Curtain. Somehow that sells it for me. <laughs> That's very fitting. Now, I'm going to be honest. Oh, wait. I'm going to be honest. I'm kind of retarded. <laughs> but this guy right here, this guy looks like he's either full communist or full anti-communist. And for both yeah. of those things, having the Iron Curtain <laughs> makes it funnier. Yeah. So, as opposed oh. to Mushroom Gremlin, which is basically just standard, this looks funny loadout. Yeah. So I think Good. I'm leaning in favor of this one. Especially with the no Spider-Man sign. That's great. Prince Ooh. Officer Jam. The most uh, Floridian yeah, man. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Look at what his shirt name is. Uh-oh. Oh, 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 no. Uh-oh. I see. Oh. Uh... <laughs> They are mine, officer. January 8th, 2019. Florida man insists syringes pulled from rectum aren't his. <laughs> I see that what the f- January 1st, before. 2015. Florida man trapped in unlocked closet for two <laughs> days. Okay, so he, he got some good names, I'm gonna gotta admit. As opposed to this guy, which, let's see, no custom descriptions, only one custom name, and it's mediocre. I'm definitely yeah. going with the most Floridian yeah. man, because yeah. the names and descriptions each tell a story. Yeah. I can appreciate that much. <laughs> Good, good, yeah. You lose, hey, with you win. Elevation, you would accidentally bad half the server. <laughs> True. <laughs> okay, living the junker's dream. Eh, mediocre. And this guy, what the frick am I looking at? What is this? I am leaning towards giving this to chat because I genuinely yeah. can't decide between these two, and it's not yeah. a good way. Chat, who wins? The French resistance says sleep paralysis demon. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like most people are going with junker, but it's it's a slight majority, I think. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest. I want to kill this thing. Yeah, do it. Kill him. Right, get out of here. <laughs> Gentleman Shit. Jack. I'm not gonna lie. This looks like a good Pirates of the Caribbean loadout. Yeah. And I don't oh, think man. I've ever seen a good Pirates of the Caribbean loadout yeah. for Spy. Damn. It actually checks out. All right. And then this guy. Christmas. Okay. So he's going for a full festive loadout. He has yeah. the festive frames, industrial festivizer, which is a hat and face full of festive. So that's a bunch of Christmas lights. And on top of that, he also has Christmas light guns. I, I'm so, leaning towards Gentleman Jack. I am too, but I want to get chat input on this. All right. Oh yeah. That yeah, that's not even close. Yeah, no, okay. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, Quinn, tell you. Riddle me this, Ooh. butt man. <laughs> Hello, that, neighbor man? two beta on April 7th. What? <laughs> that's the name of his hat. What? How does that fit with the rest of this load? <laughs> Fuck. Oh, wait. Hello, neighbor 2 beta on April 7th. So. Oh, okay. Never. Mm, I'm actually interested. Back in the day, I played Hello, neighbor. Okay, fun fact. One of the reasons I started the YouTube, a few of my friends helped convince me to start a YouTube channel because I was just on my laptop in my school's library one day, just playing Hello, neighbor for a few friends to watch. And my commentary just for those few friends was good enough that they said I would have a chance at YouTube. Just that comment stuck with me. And I don't know, something about that. So I have a bit of a personal connection with the Hello Neighbor series, even if it's not a game that I regularly play. So that is interesting. And then let's see, what is this? Uh, don't know how I feel about the Medigun name. <laughs> Aside from that, looks like it's just pretty standard winter loadout. I am leaning towards Riddle Me This for the reason that this is a proper gimmick loadout that references something. Yeah. And this, while it is a good loadout, why the Plague Doctor mask? Yeah. It doesn't fit. The scarf, I like it. The Medigun, I like it. The unusual hat, I like it. But the Plague Doctor mask doesn't fit and it gives it a generic yeah. feel. Riddler wins finally. Riddle me this, Riddle but man, why did you lose? <laughs> Grug in iron armor, milk bad is toxic. <laughs> <laughs> Guy Dude Bro. <laughs> Didn't Dude Bro die in a castle when he was eaten by a dragon? That's a fairly okay, niche that, reference. Uh, I doubt anyone yeah, would get that reference. All in all, just decent night loadout, though I don't know how I feel about the uh, the Spartan looking hat. Yeah, the Tartan Spartan. As opposed yeah, to this, so. the Cursed Cook. Oh, and he got the cauldron with the like the body parts in it. The Grizzly Gumbo. I'm 
going to be entirely honest, I like this loadout. This feels like a yeah. actually yeah. good horror loadout because it makes a gimmick and it goes for it. Nah, what the fuck? Hmm? What the? F <laughs> what the fuck is happening? I. Okay, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I'm leaning the Cursed Cook for the reason yeah. that this loadout, while good, I don't feel like the Spartan fits in with the overall knight loadout if you're going to use a sword, because Sparta, they didn't really use swords as much as they used, you know, hoplite type spears. Whereas yeah. this one, this makes a pretty good loadout in general. Yeah, I like it. All right, Graveyard Zombie is back. Okay, okay. I know I've already said it, but I'm going to say it again. That unusual effect. I love that unusual <laughs> effect. That is such a good unusual. Pablo dot donkey bong <laughs> dude. 2009 <laughs> I know I've seen that name somewhere before in a past video at some point. Yeah. Pablo dot donkey bong 2009. <laughs> Names aside, let's see what they actually have. This guy, a pretty standard bone loadout. Got the totally boned shotgun and bat out of hell as well. Probably calcium clan, I'm thinking. Yeah, probably. As opposed to this guy, which is yep. I kind of want to give it to chat. Yeah, chat. Chat, what really? do you think? Probably calcium clan member or Pablo dot donkey bong 2009. Thank you. Grugan Iron oh, Armor yeah, for saying zombie. he hates calcium. Okay, well, yeah, Pablo. Raveyard stuff. Zombie, I hate to break it to you, but they really want Pablo dot Donkey Bong 2009 <laughs> to win. So, <laughs> sorry, man. <laughs> Got speed, you magnificent bastard. <laughs> Let's see, Pi Warrior 21 uh, with uh, the uh, Rat Bastard loadout and Average uh, Crackmas Goblin, which uh, we have already seen, and it is not Crackmas. Oh, we have a Christmas tree. Oh, never mind. I guess it is Christmas. <laughs> oh, wait, never mind. It's gone. Okay. I'm leaning favoring Pi on this one because the Rat Bastard loadout is actually actually a good cursed loadout and <laughs> Okay, it appears there is a Misty Anomaly just moving through the crowd. We're not really sure what it is, but it is going. Uh, <laughs> ban the other guy. Yep. And next up, Grug in Iron Armor. Who, okay, this guy, this guy, Grug in Iron Armor, he has been insulting Clan Calcium from the very start. Ever since he joined the server, he's been talking smack against Clan Calcium. What is your purpose, Grug? What are you doing? He says, iron is good for you. It's what in your cereal, he says, on? and he hates bones. Clearly, this guy favors an exoskeleton. Skeleton. I'm gonna be honest, people in chat, I think Calcium Clan has had it a little bit too good for a little bit too long. I think it would be funny if there was some sort of opposition to that. I think this guy should lead the opposition to that. Pablo Escobar joined Team Red. <laughs> 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 I think let there be war between Clan Calcium and the Iron Alliance. How about that? <laughs> I think this is going to be fun to see this in future episodes if this plays out. Clan Calcium versus the Iron Alliance. Yeah. Long live the Iron Alliance. Jammin' Star? Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> okay. Uh, as opposed to this guy, Big Boss, who standard snake loadout. <laughs> the Potassium Posse. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I'm favoring Grogan Iron Armor because this actually does kind of look like power armor. I know I've seen this loadout at some point, but it's just a good loadout in general, and I don't think it's ever showed up at a Dripper Grind before, so go make power armor loadouts. Go fight Clan Calcium. <laughs> uh, so, Jetstream Sam versus Zeref. HF Muramasa Blade. Okay, this is one of those things where I'm leaning in favor of Zeref already, but chat's gonna lynch me if I don't do- Is there anything special about Zeref's loadout? <laughs> Male pattern boldness! <laughs> Oh, wait. Oh, th okay. Okay. Credit where credit's due. This is actually an interesting combo. So what he has, the mining light he has, is a really old TF2 cosmetic that's just assumed that Engineer is wearing a hard hat. But if he's not wearing a hard hat, then it just appears as something else. So basically what he's done with this loadout is because he has male pattern baldness, he doesn't have a hat for the mining light to go around. So he literally just has a floating mining light above his head. I think that's interesting. And I think the other guy, if he was going to go for a Jetstream Sam loadout, I think he could have done better. Just in general, like, yeah, he got the hair, but aside from that, there's not really much else. And there's no custom names. There's not really much of other custom things. I'm leaning in favor of Zeref. And I assure you that is not biased because the other guy I don't know and because Zeref is a mod in the Twitch chat. That's totally not biased at all. <laughs> not even a little bit. Shut up. I don't know what you're talking <laughs> Moving on. Oh, yeah. Also, uh, Zeref is the one who kind of did the grave digging on this map and fixed it up for me. So there's that, too. All right. So Paul, who is a fairly default red demo knight. Okay. None of the things this guy has is custom except his sword, which is named The. What oh, the okay. frick? Okay. As opposed to The Camper. That's actually interesting. Combining the Dead and Knight yeah. and the Chronomancer. I kind of like that. I'm landing The Camper because that's an interesting yeah. torso combination. That's it. Yeah. I like it. Notorious Truck Gang member and Decimate. <laughs> Uh-huh. Any custom name? Okay, that sells it. This guy, Decimate, he has the 
bovine blaze maker, which is just a Jesus. cow skin. Mark II degreaser. <laughs> Why does he have a cow degreaser? And then this guy. Nothing cosmetically unique except for the Bolshevik biker, which is, it has a custom description. It is, I am riding to your tiny town. This is a good loadout, and it would probably get a slight drip in a normal dripper drown, but this loadout's better. Yeah. Bacon oh, Gamer right. Epic and King Electic. Electic. <laughs> <laughs> he has a power-up canteen. It's called Discount Medic. It's a discount medic. That's what it is. It is a discount medic. Aside from that, security. Oh my word. Cute. Look at his hat name. <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, okay. And then that opposed to this. Seems like a fairly generic winter loadout. I'm going to be honest. I don't know which way to go on this one. I would say King Electic. Okay. They do not like bacon sign. <laughs> what, what do you mean? It's Ninjago. His sign is Lego Ninjago. Oh. <laughs> I, I, mean, I only saw the post. I didn't see the rest of it. <laughs> you just assumed it was Among Us. us. <laughs> yeah, it's like, all I saw was the sneakers and the colors. Ninjago? How about you, Ninjago, get some women? I like King better overall still. All right, fair enough. Starting to get burnt out on the winter stuff. Heavy okay. Mafia. God damn it. Heavy <laughs> Mafia. Say, I'm tired of the winter stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good use of the Wild West whiskers. Yeah. Why the parka? That is not a Mafia leader loadout. I'm going to be yeah. honest. He has That's a fedora right. and he has the hair, but the parka doesn't make any sense. As opposed yeah. to Endless Abyss, which is just, Basically. oh my word. His sentry on his shoulder, it's named Inji Far, as opposed to Engineer. Yeah. <laughs> 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 he also also has Engineer Junior on his back. My pride and joy, my son, my precious, beautiful boy who I love so dearly, and my, my son's son. bully. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is a family right here. This is not a good loadout. This loadout is better, but this loadout is funnier. This yeah, one tells yeah. a story, whereas that one doesn't tell much of anything. I'm, I'm leaving yeah. this one. <laughs> Even he's agreeing with it, yeah. Okay. Right. Balls Whoa. Jimmy <laughs> versus... <laughs> <laughs> What is that? <laughs> Hello? What are you? <laughs> I'm gonna be entirely honest. I feel like we have to give this one to Balls Jimmy because Hayes is clearly cheating here, but at the same time, it's still really funny. <laughs> Get the frick out of here, Hayes. Elbow. Screw you. <laughs> the fuck out of here. <laughs> Leshy from Inscription. I haven't played Inscription, so... Have you? No. Okay. And then Back Alley Crack Dealer. All gimmicks aside, even if I don't get the reference, I'm still leaning Leshy because that's yeah. just a cool loadout. Yeah, that looks great. Yeah, c combining the camo hat with the green beard, especially with the zombie yeah, thing, that's just a good loadout yeah. where this isn't. Uh, good game. Yeah. <laughs> Smokey the Menace. I'm pretty sure we've seen this guy before. Not with this loadout, though. This oh. loadout looks new. Okay, that's interesting. Interesting. Combining the smiling soman with the uh, dyed impish ears. I've never seen that combination before, and it actually works, which is really weird to me. As opposed to canned chicken, who is a chicken in a can. That's what that is. I like that uh, one. Both of these are pretty good, but I'm leaning yeah. in favor of Smokey because yeah. this one has a unique that combination. combination of items. Is really cool. Yeah. Exactly. Good for Smokey to round for the canned chicken. Uh, Z Beats, a local artist in the TF2 community, versus Piss Man. Why the genuine steel songbird? What does that have to do with anything? And the scope. Spartan the cape. You have yeah. one piss cosmetic and then the other two just don't relate in the slightest. As opposed to this guy, which, okay, look at his shirt name. The Commissioner's Jersey. Hmm. If I draw <laughs> enough, I'll have enough stocks for a strange version of this. And then aside from that, he also has that really cool scatter gun we've commented on before. Definitely leaning Z-Beats again. Yep. Uh, right? I'm not gonna read that name out loud. Yeah, um, no. Okay, and he has that. So you know what? There's not even a competition. Who is this yeah. guy? Raiden? I... <laughs> Of freaking course it's Raiden. Why couldn't you have been paired with Jetstream <laughs> Sam earlier? Come on. <laughs> okay, all things considered, this is actually a pretty good loadout. Okay, so you automatically win because your partner sucked, but yeah, you, you would have won that anyways. Banana Man himself. Back. Oh my word. No way. Look at his weapon names and descriptions. <laughs> Do you see Banana Man hopping over on the white dot sand? Here he come with some for me. Jesus. Freshly taken from banana tree. Banana man me want the ton. Give me double and a bonus one. Give me more for all me friends. This banana flow never ends. Do you want a banana? Peel it down and go. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Do you want a banana? This banana for you. Bum, bum, bum. Followed by whatever the frick that is. Also at the end of the fish. <laughs> I'm- Oh, but this is Pablo Escobar. <laughs> I just realized. Frick. Frick. 
I was already oh, completely Escobar. sold on this guy, and then I see his opponent is Pablo freaking Escobar. Gosh darn it. I think we give this one to chat. This is too close. Yeah, chat. Chat, Pablo Escobar versus yeah. Banana Man. Both. A significant number both. are saying yeah. both. I'm going to be honest, both was not an option, but just for these two, I'm willing to do it. Yeah. All right. Good for that. In the future, though, there will not be both. There will be blood. Okay, bird, and he just has a bird head and three birds. Mm. Like Ironwood skull cutter. If that was some sort of bird themed skull cutter, I yeah. would instant drip that, but otherwise, as opposed to the Wheatley core, there's nothing special about this loadout. So we give it to the bird? Right. Yeah, bird wins. All right, bird got the drip. Captain Trollface, who has, well, a lot of troll faces. <laughs> that's, uh, that's his entire gimmick. And he also has the human cannonball, which is apparently unusual, but I can't see it. Okay, so that's all right, as opposed to Glide, who has combined the Goblin Ear with the Tin 1000 and the Bread Biter to make a sort of FNAF looking loadout. I'm not partial towards either one. On the one hand, if we give Drip to Captain Trollface, it'll set the precedent that people can win just by having a funny PNG. On the yeah, other yeah. hand, I'm hesitant to give Drip to a Goblin Ear. <laughs> give it to Chet. Uh, yeah, what do you want? Troll or Goblin? We're not drowning both. One must win. Zerf, you're a freaking mod in the Twitch chat. Maybe don't encourage them to drown both we're not doing <laughs> oh wait no wait actually he's right at the beginning we did say we could drown both oh yeah yeah we did oh yeah i, I completely yeah, forgot did. about we're that done. all right fine we'll drown both <laughs> autobot has stopped you dimwit yes dimwit is clearly an offensive term that I, is not allowed I, on twitch yeah. dimwit 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 <laughs> uh u.s soldier from 1813 not sure how i feel about the tacky soldier but i like the rest of it uh, this one's not that great but this one's clearly worse don't care. You have to. Okay. Freudy lad. Reflection of self. Curious coat. <laughs> reflection of self. Vain. Dangerous. Main. Reflection of self. Prideful. Polar cat. Is this guy? Is that all this guy is? He just has Sigmund Freud puns in his name. Yeah. So big. Guardian of the River Nile. How does that fit in any way? Piss maker. <laughs> I don't know what to think about that guy. As opposed to this one, he only has one custom name, and that is his shotgun. Look at his custom shotgun name. Uh, I'm going to be honest, I like the combination of the uh, the black gourd grin with the yeah. other things here. It's a good yeah, combination. Like that's a good combo, yeah. As opposed to this guy, he has a lot of puns, but then he has a few ones that just don't make sense and don't fit him at all. So, Everick returns. Very interesting loadout with the... Does he have a big head? Or like, how is the hat that big? Is it usually that big? I've never seen it on the pyro, so... It might just naturally be huge. Huge. Especially yeah. combined with the fact that because he has uh, Voodoo Cursed right now, yeah, it's also going to look like his head's a bit smaller. smaller yeah. And then oh. this guy got a step on the gas, but... I <laughs> Funny performance, but I yeah. I just think this guy is more interesting. Nicholas Cage, very cool entrance. Not sure how he's Nicholas Cage though. Didn't he play the Ghost Rider or something? Oh, did he? The right chat or my. Oh yeah, yeah they're confirming Nick it. Nick played Ghost, Ghost Rider. Yeah. That's a yeah. really good loadout. Oh, yeah. What's the nice. angle there? Wait, what? Wait, how the? Oh, oh that's genius! Oh my <laughs> word! Okay, his unusual. I was wondering what his unusual is. It's a metal version of the alien thing. It's called a horn prosthetic. That's the custom name for it at least but it goes on his head in just the right way where if he's also wearing the lost soul which is the skull he's wearing it's basically covered up which essentially means that he has an unusual version of something that i don't think you can get an unusual version of and using that he's able to recreate the ghost writer look that's really cool that's and then there's this guy which is weeb scout and he has an anime sign so yeah, i this was never weeb. a contest <laughs> yeah, no hasn't touched grass smh my head bowler hat guy okay but that's a spy Ooh. camera on your head have you seen Meet the Robinsons? I have not. The villain from it is called Bowler Hat Guy. Okay. Okay, that actually makes some semblance yeah. of sense then. I'm going to look up a picture of this guy just to compare it. Oh, that guy. I just didn't know his name. Okay. Okay, that actually makes a lot of sense. I take it back. This is a great loadout. That actually looks pretty close to the original guy. Okay, as opposed to Phil. Not really much of a contest, I'm going to be honest. Yeah. Mario playing. Oh, uh-oh. Uh, this guy has a golden wrench. That is a very, very rare and expensive item. <laughs> look at his hat description. And then look at himself. He's last brain cell. Look at that little effer flying. It's just a little spark going around his head. <laughs> That's uh, really good. I, I like, like that. That. Yeah. that sells that one. The uh, Pecos Pest versus Ultimate Ara. Shard Chainmail. I don't think I've... Oh. I have never seen that cosmetic on Pyra before in my life. Yeah. I've been playing this game for a fair amount of time. I've literally never seen that cosmetic. And then that aside... Okay, aside from that, he also has a full dragon loadout. He has the Dragon's Fury, Thermal Thruster, which is the closest you can get to wings for Pyro, uh, the cute suit, 
suit. I'm going to be honest, that one doesn't really make much sense. But then he also yeah. has the little bitey hat, which kind of looks yeah. dragonish. So in general, yeah. this guy's definitely going for a dragon loadout for Pyro. I admire the attempt. I just think little bitey yeah. probably should have been a different color. Mm. The Pecos, would it be racist if I drowned this guy? <laughs> okay, he shook his head. No, it's not racist. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, generic Texan. One of those examples of the name is too literal. The name yeah. is exactly what he is. Therefore, it makes me yeah, less likely to select him. But then again, the other guy yeah. is just man. Yeah, I I'm actually leaning towards generic Texan, even if I'm not a huge fan of the name, just because this other guy is yeah. so cursed. You win, you lose. Win. I'm making sure to ban him at his feet so he doesn't ban anyone behind him. Alpha bread Oh, bread crab, mucus membrane, and blazing bowl. That's actually good. That's really yeah. good. Uh, okay, so I'm assuming most of you in chat have probably seen my lore video on bread space, so you know the significance of bread crabs for TF2's lore. This guy, what he's done is he's effectively made it so his loadout is not based on modifying the pyro, but on modifying the bread crab controlling the pyro. I think that's really cool and I like it. And then let's see. This guy, Hank J. Wimbledon. Is that a reference to something? Probably. Chat. Chat. Oh, madness hey. combat. No, you lose. Goodbye. Alpha bread crab, you you deserve this drip. 100%. You know what? That's a thumbnail loadout. I'm, I'm going to put the alpha bread crab in the thumbnail. <laughs> Base Sam. Man, screw that. I, back alley piss dealer. We've already seen something like this. And Dale Gribble. I don't know. I feel like we give this one to Chat. And you cannot drown them both. It's kind of balanced, actually. Looks like there's a slight majority in favor of piss, but. <laughs> this guy gets a very slight drip, but it was close. $7 blade of grass and tired healthcare worker. <laughs> His, okay, his crusader's crossbow is named Dose 1. His vaccinator is named Dose 2. <laughs> oh That's really good. That of course, three. he has Ob Ob Uber Sub Dose <laughs> Face shield, it's too foggy. It's Medicine K is your 24-hour dose incoming. N95, perfectly fit to my face. We all know that's not true. <laughs> and then as opposed to this guy who has basically nothing and a ditto sign, whatever this is. Uh, yeah, yeah, no contest. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, healthcare worker wins. I know you're probably not a healthcare worker, but if there are any actual actual healthcare workers in chat. Thank you very much for your uh, service. Uh, Someone uh, said my name is Daniel. Okay, Daniel. That's an interesting knife. Look at his knife. Necromanced. I've never seen that skin. 17 just classic sniper. Person who thinks all the time has nothing to think about except <laughs> thoughts. There's some interesting quotes on this one. But on the other hand, I think the other one has a better loadout. I'm leaning slightly in favor of Daniel. Daniel, and I'm sure that's your name, you win. <laughs> okay. Uh, ah. Right. Something about this seems a little bit fan fiction-y. I'm not gonna yeah. lie. <laughs> Something about this doesn't really seem that accurate if I'm going to be honest. Okay, so there is historically not quite so accurate Prussian soldier and yeah. calcium kid. Oh, this le Oh no. This puts me in a pickle. On the one hand, I don't want to give this guy drip because it's historically inaccurate and historically, if someone has a historical loadout, I've given them drip depending on its accuracy. On the other yeah. hand, this guy's a member of Calcium Clan and I kind of want to promote the anti-Calcium Clan movement. You want, you want to take the gaze mm. or the calcium? I missed the question then. Well, when you d don't phrase it like that. <laughs> 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 Oh my word. Okay, I have to I have to take a screenshot of something. I don't know it's if you guys funny. can see this thing with the stream quality. Thank you, Automod. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> Why does Automod censors the weirdest things? Like, okay, it's yeah. gone out of its way. It has censored the word Mexico when a bunch of other country it's names censored. weren't censored. It censored, what was Very it earlier? French. Nitwit? Very French? Nitwit? Nitwit. Nitwit. I, and now Lil Gay is apparently censored. <laughs> I swear I have not customized any of this. Any of this crap with auto mod is just default. It's so weird. Oh, God. Oh. I'm going to uh, levy a judgment on both of these people and you guys don't get to know what it is. Average flog user. What happened to the... Uh, no. 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 What? Did it... <laughs> I think it happened again. God damn it, Sam. <laughs> How? It's a slanted angle. How do I still screw it up? So Wait, did his partner willingly leave or did I accidentally ban? Frick. Uh, uh, no, someone in chat saying he was his partner. Gosh darn it. Oh, ah, good so job. sorry. You get drip. We just gave a flog user drip. What does this world come to? What the frick is this phantom behind? Okay, he's there now. Okay, bearded stunt double. What did it cost? Everything is the name of description of that unusual because that is Bearded's unusual. Okay, so we have an exact replica of Bearded Expense minus the belligerent flagrant shouting about literally anything. And then yeah. whatever the frick this is. Hakuman? Is that a reference to something? That's either something historical, it's from a Dark Souls game, or something from a weeb-related thing. I'm glad those three are interchangeable now. <laughs>
<laughs> Someone says it's a reference to a Arc System Works fighter game. I have no idea what that means. I'm gonna be honest. This guy went out of his way to get the unusual for Bearded Expand. Yeah. It, if he didn't have the unusual, it'd probably be a drown for being a cheap impersonator. But no, he went all the way on being an impersonator. Yeah, that's... All right. Oh, wait, frick, I accidentally... God damn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you get drowned too. We no. drowned both of them. The first one was by mistake. Uh, uh, okay. Also, we're at the... Now we're left oh. oh, yeah, so. true. Sorry, I wasn't even paying attention to the time. Okay. So, yeah. the password has now been changed. Ooh. There's still a chance for you to get in if you haven't already. Right, we got Dr. Doc. I like the unusual, though. I'm gonna be honest. That's one of my favorite unusual effects in the game is the, the sort of runes. Oh, my... <laughs> Look at his minigun. God damn it. Got that freaking Lenny face, too. As opposed to Toaster. Yeah, both of these are similar. Both of them are fairly mediocre. <sighs> yeah. I have to admit... The, the unusual. I am a bit more partial to the parka than the weight room warmer in yeah. terms of the sleeves, but I like the weight room warmer more generally. But in general, combining the gourd with that hat and unusual, I, I just like the unusual. Yeah. I think that sells it. Yeah. Okay, the real banana and uh, the, the gibbous, gibbous gunman, gunman not calcium. <laughs> Hold up, gentlemen. A third challenger to clan calcium has arrived. The potassium <laughs> posse. The real banana. I give you this commission. Start a clan. Acquire members. Fight clan calcium. Good luck. <laughs> what the? Uh, this guy cheating. What? Is this guy cheating? I'm going to have to try something for a moment. Everybody's frozen. Yeah, yeah. Wow, well, it's like the hacker got salty. Dang, that's crazy. Yeah. Nobody can be mature wow. on the internet. That is how that it works. Why have you cursed us this way? Unless we are being DDoSed, in which case we're going to have to end the stream a bit early because that's just how that works. However, yeah, we still got an hour and 17 minutes of content, which is pretty good. We will try things until something works. I'm not giving up just yet. In the meantime, here's a meme oh, one of my friends go. posted. People there in chat, how do you feel no, about this meme? No. How does this meme make you feel? I don't know about you guys. I, I think this meme is pretty true. I think as far as <laughs> as far as intelligent memes go out there, I think this meme is pretty true. Actually, wait, I have an idea. Hold up. I just realized my past self prepared me for this moment. I have to find something. Trust me, this will be really funny if it works. It's chaos now, help. Give me a sec. You don't understand how important this is. I have to find this. Oh, this would be really yeah, funny if it works. It. I have to find this. I have something somewhere that I just... <laughs> it's like the hacker's location. <laughs> As funny as that would be, I do not have the technical skills to do that. I've done something in the past. I installed something in the past that I want to see if I can find it. I forget what it's called, though. Is that it? That might be it. You guys have to trust me on this. Okay, I think. Yes. Yes, gentlemen. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I had this ready. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> okay. It has been so long since I've played this game. Huh? What are even the controls? Do I use arrow key? Okay. You harvest. I can make a builder. <laughs> I, I mean, okay. My, my king should probably get. <laughs> okay. Okay. I should probably stop. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that was good. I am so happy I spent the time to find that. Dude, that was so freaking funny. Oh shoot, I gotta set up the freaking, yeah. what should we call it, the permissions again. Gosh darn it. So how would you guys feel about a Lego Battles video? <laughs> is this is the final wave then? Yeah, sure, this is the final wave, since All we've right. already wasted enough time with other things. Let's just pretend that the entire last 20 minutes, aside from playing Lego Battles, didn't happen. I think that would be funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'd be very funny. Form pairs two by two. If you're not in a two by two line, you're getting banned. Let's see if they can form it themselves. Nobody wants to come to the front of the line because nobody wants to go against this guy. <laughs> okay, there we go. This, this oh, brave person does we it. We have a challenger. All right, October 31st versus Vivi. This looks from Who the freak? Oh, uh, oh, Jim Carrey reference. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be honest. This loadout's a good gimmick loadout, but this loadout's a good loadout in general, and I really like yeah, the unusual. I don't know it. which one to go with. What's your choice? Chat. <laughs> Both are too good. Okay, chat appears to be universally siding with the dream mask, so... <laughs> Gentlemen, we finally know what the mask is for. <laughs> um, right, Captain Candy Cane. This feels like a Captain Calcium bootleg. I'm not leaning yeah. positively on that. Versus Drunk Demo Bird. This is too literal of a loadout, but this one's obviously riding on someone else's coattails. I'm leaning Bird. Bird. Phoenix Wright with the objection sign <laughs> versus Smith Smith. I just pronounced it that way. Smith Smith? Uh, he has all Smith Smith sweaters. Okay, no. here's the thing. I remember it was either last stream, uh, last Ripper Drown, or the one before it. I saw someone who had an all Christmas loadout and said, okay,
Okay, normally I would ban the Smith sweater, but because it's a like an elf loadout, I wouldn't do it. This is doing the exact same thing, and yeah. Yeah, I'm leaning Phoenix, right? Yeah, Phoenix, right? Objection! I can banish myself. What the fuck? Okay, is he this? can banish him. <laughs> I. Oh. Gentlemen, we have a sorcerer before us tonight. Um, uh, he will yeah, not be coming cool. back. Your dad that appears to have just pulled the magic trick of, okay, I'm out to get cigarettes, and then he disappears for five years. Um, he might be back in five years to asking for money, though. Okay, as opposed to this guy, I'm it's gonna be honest, this is a really cool yeah. loadout. Hold up, what the- Yo, Demo, pull out the sword. That's cool. Okay, the lighting doesn't do it any favors, but that's a cool sword. I like it. This is just a good loadout in general. This probably would have won anyways. <laughs> Drown for the other guy, drip for this guy. The postal dude from Postal 2. Uh, I think he wants you to sign his petition. <laughs> and Mug Ellis, which is, I'm thinking that's probably a Left 4 Dead reference. I want to see chat's vote on this one. Yeah, chat. Mug Ellis or the Postal Dude from Postal 2. Hi there. Would you like to sign my petition? Surprisingly, that's pretty even. Okay, never mind. There's, okay, Postal wins. <laughs> there's quite a few Mug Maniacs in the chat, but I think there's more Postal Plumbers. That's a weapon name, by the way. Royal Dominguez versus Dr. Nefario. Oh, hold up. Oh, no. Actually, that is kind of accurate. He does have big ears. I saw this guy in my mind went, okay, but why does he have the goblin ear? Because Dr. Nefario is a human. But no, now that I'm looking at it, Dr. Nefario actually has freakishly huge ears for some reason. Wait. Oh, uh, wait. No, no. This guy instantly loses. All right, here's my reasoning, right? I just took a screenshot on my phone. Let me send it over to Discord real quick, and then I will show you in the stream. Gentlemen, I searched Dr. Nefario on Google Images. One of the top results, Dr. 2, or Dr. <laughs> Dr. Nefario on r slash TF2 fashion advice. <laughs> Yeah. Mm. One of the top results. <laughs> Plagiarism! <laughs> You it cheated! You stole it! Now granted, my entire channel is based off stealing other people's content, but that's not yeah. the point! <laughs> oh man, as opposed to this guy. I, I don't care, you have a good loadout. You're done. Goodbye. Screw you. <laughs> Exposed live on stream. Cut in 4K. Warm Spy versus the French Priest. He has a scarf, it's named Pudus. Aside from that, nothing really notable. And then the French Priest is kind of looking like a French Priest, kind of. Yeah. I'm leaning with the French Priest, but both of them are mediocre. Yeah, French Priest. The game and apparently croc daddy for some reason. So we have an alligator in a human suit versus a human in an alligator suit. <laughs> this is like a meme of, you know the meme of the two types of cat girls where like one is a human girl with cat ears, the other one is a female cat with human ears? No, and I don't wish to see that. <laughs> That's kind of what this is reminding me of. Like we have to choose between two devils. Drown both? Yeah, why not? Okay. <laughs> Goodbye. You so both lose. Deep. You get... Nothing! <laughs> Friggin' Haas Delgado. That- Okay. I like that combination. Ooh, the eye catcher yeah, with the white yeah. Russian. Big Joey, you need to poke your eye. <laughs> <laughs> All things considered, that's actually a really good combination. Yeah, that is- Fucking awesome. Okay, Shit. so that's cool and I like it. Yeah. As opposed to as opposed to yeah. Inja Queer Gaming. Wait, what? Wait, you can have unusual raccoon heads? That's a thing? What? Oh shit. I did not know that cosmetic could be unusualified. Oh. That's huge. I think we throw it to chat. Joey but cooler or the unusual <laughs> raccoon? Who do we go with? It's looking like there's a slight majority in favor of Haas, the cooler Joey guy. Cooler Joey yeah. wins, but I have to say that's still a good loadout. I like that. Uh, next up, we're wasn't this? supposed to be like this is versus Dude, not I like formal part <laughs> You missed the memo, guys. That was last month. Okay, I'm I'm leaning with the one on the right because a true bot wouldn't have the mask. Yeah. That's my only reason. <laughs> Yo, the, okay, this is the first time we've seen this loadout on Dripper Drown, I think. The yeah. triple cigar. He's done it. Nice. Maximum lung cancer has been achieved. That's pretty good. As opposed to, oh, that's also pretty good. <laughs> okay, I'm leaning with this guy for the triple cigar because yeah. even if this guy's name is Grom at Night, I don't like combining the war dog with the brass bucket. I don't think the two head cosmetics there go together well. That's my only reasoning for that, but aside from that, an attempt was made. Next up, we got, looks like, three pairs left. Guybird and Heli. Okay, credit where credit's due. His unusual bubble pipe is level 69. Don't really care for either of these. Yeah. Even though the helmet doesn't go with the torso, really. That's true. Give it to chat. Yeah, chat. Chat, what do we do? Pyromedic. Looks like most of it's going for the oh, uh, Yeah. Probably pyro, I think. Yeah, both do feel generic. Drown both? Sure. Alright. <laughs> Good day, sir! The only valid danger look out. Gosh darn it. Oh, look at his mustache. What kind of music does a fish listen to? Something catchy. Okay, so I know who I'm going to <laughs> As opposed to this guy. If it's Engineer's Day,
day off. Why is he wearing special goggles? Why would Engineer uh, wear special goggles on his day off? Probably to sleep. Engineer, yeah, if it's your day off, why are you wearing special goggles? They look tired. Fair uh, enough. Fair enough. I'm neutral on both of them. Maybe slightly more danger loadout because like it overall. Okay, fair enough. Theme. You win. You lose. And finally, the Whoa. last hey, contestants. Hit pyro. Could I didn't even see the spray. Why? Why have you done this? Look Why have you done this? I don't want to see that thing on my screen. Why have you done this? Okay, this isn't even a contest. It's this guy, the freaking Amaru fan, versus Flamin' Hot Cheetos sniper rifle. There's not really that much of a question here. Yeah. Uh, no. goodbye. <laughs> and you win! It, we're at an hour 40. I feel a little bit guilty for earlier. I'm gonna be honest, some of the recent contestants haven't been that great. I'm leaning for one yeah. more round. Yeah, it's not a good ending at all. Um... Uh, all right. One more round! I know I said we were over, but you get one more chance. The password is <laughs> fratricide. <laughs> Gentlemen. Man, am I glad I didn't have to have the webcam on for this video because I am not feeling it. <laughs> Let us begin with the final round. At this yeah. point, if you have not gotten in, wait till next month. Sorry. <laughs> I don't really have anything better. So the soldier with the bunny hat versus the mullet man. Look at this guy's, as he puts it, luscious locks kept clean and fresh with Dove trademark shampoo. Dove apparently tastes good. Wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> 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 we both. I, I started reading that comment before I even processed what it said. <laughs> That's a good point, whoever has said that in Twitch chat. This man did manage to make a mullet yeah. for Scout in TF2. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, as opposed to this guy, which I interesting, see. but no. Mullet wins. I haven't seen a mullet win since the 80s, but... <laughs> Instant drip. This guy wins. I don't care who the other guy is. Who is the other guy? No. Tourist, help him lost. Sorry, you never stood yeah. a chance. Ulysses yeah. is one of the best characters in the entire Fallout universe. Anyone who says otherwise is objectively wrong. His political philosophy between the bull and the bear, I listened to every bit of that and I loved it. <laughs> I know Ulysses gets a lot of flack from people that only play Fallout because he he funny gun. I actually enjoy the story of Fallout New Vegas. And personally, Ulysses is a very interesting character. So, insta drip. Sorry, the game was rigged from the start. <laughs> <laughs> right, Castle Crashers Necromancer versus Golden Outlaw. Oh, oh. Spencer. What? This guy. This guy has macaw masked weapons. Look at those. Those are beautiful. Ooh. Macaw masked that actually matches color wise. Those are beautiful. There are, okay, out of every weapon skin in TF2, there's a lot of cool skins. There's a lot of good skins. Like, um, shoot, what was it? Kiln and Conquer. This is a very good skin. In general, Kiln and Conquer is one of the most solid skins. It can be used on pretty much anything and it look good. But, there's a weapon skin out there. Macaw Masked. Objectively the most beautiful skin in the game for one simple reason. Macaw Masked skins, when you get them, there's an aspect of RNG to them. When you get them, they will assign certain colors to certain areas, and if you get good RNG, you can have have a weapon that is a single color. When you get one of those weapons that's a single color across the entire weapon, it looks beautiful. It is stunning. It is, in my opinion, the best skin in all of Team Fortress 2. So the fact yeah, that this guy has yeah. two Macaw Mask skins, he is a fellow collector. Love it. Fair enough. On the other hand, Castle Crashers Necromancer. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but that brings back good memories, so. Okay, I'll admit, I have not played that much Castle Crashers. I have played it before. I do have a bit of experience with the first few levels, but I haven't, like, properly played it, yeah. so I'm not gonna yeah, have the inherent bias. There. Yeah, my dad, brother, and I used to play that all the time, so that bazooka's good. Dang, this is a really tough one. Chat! Castle Crashers Necromancer or a beautiful skin collector? Wait, <laughs> that phrase, something, okay, what I just said, Spencer, the phrase, a beautiful skin collector? <laughs> if you take that out of context, that sounds a little, <laughs> that sounds a little off. Well, I mean, you'd be some sort of necromancer then too, but... <laughs> Looks like a majority of people are going for uh, necromancer, so we'll do that. But just know, right. I do love those weapons. They're yeah. beautiful. Yeah, then again, that is just his weapon, not the rest of his loadouts. So. That's true. That's true. Okay. Whoa! Yo! It's Donkey Kong! <laughs> not so subtle bribery. Not so subtle bribery. We are being bribed. It's like politicians. Drown. Drip. Next. <laughs> <laughs> Over, gosh darn it gosh darn it as opposed to this loadout has gotten drip three times oh this is actually okay this guy's on a streak and this guy is an overused joke and he's aware of that fucking mac fuck off <laughs> So, chat, JoJo reference, so the guy who has a streak. Of course, Inja Queer Gaming votes for JoJo. Okay, obvious winner streak. Good game. You win, you lose. Goodbye. <laughs> that is a four-time streak. Average casual enjoyer. That's cursed, but in a way I haven't seen before, and I kind of like it. And this is just generic duck. Yeah. I might be leaning duck if it was more duck, but that sign doesn't work with it. Yeah, no. Yeah. Brown. I'm going to use this one because it's a thumbnail loadout. That's why. Yeah. Shrek game. Ah! 
Oh, sorry, I got I, jump scared by Shrek. I, did, I <laughs> don't even see the spray, so I can't talk about any of it. Monkey business is this guy. Okay. Sophisticated smoker with the monkey. That's uh, interesting. I like how the mustache clips through the upper side of his <laughs> lip. I like the monkey. Uh-huh. Right, yeah, I'm just gonna drown this guy. Mr. Smiles, you! You were the one that caused me all that trouble with the freaking... The, 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 what should I call it? <laughs> the sight for sore eyes. I hate that cosmetic. Drown! <laughs> oh, Perry the Platypus. Hello. Hell yeah. Okay. Monopoly on duck coin. Okay. So this guy's rich, clearly. Oh, that's good. Genuine yeah. Scotsman stovepipe. The description is he used to be a CEO before he found, before he was found embezzling funds to the Top Hat clan. <laughs> Yo, I would love to see a Top Hat clan start to form for the Draper Drown series. <laughs> That'd be good. Just in general, I like seeing Another factionalism. Wise. The clan. In this, it's always fun to see. As opposed to the Mage Goblin Returns, which repeat phase, repeat loadout. Interesting. It worked with a partner. I'm not sure if it works solo. I'm landing on Monopoly and Duck Coin. Yeah. Oh, especially um, what this guy did. He has the Bolgan Family Crest, which is a medal, and then he has the Duck Journal on top of that. But it's in the same Ooh. spot, which means it clips through each other and forges the Duck Coin. Nice. <laughs> he yeah. has the only Duck Coin in all of TF2. It's like in Orna Token. <laughs> I had to. Um. Man. And then King Mudkip, his partner, is behind us. Is his oh, well. partner going to do anything? Oh! Oh, that's Max Loda. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't notice? No, I did not. He's been invisible this entire time. Invisible the entire time, yeah. So it's this guy with bootleg JoJo but worse versus yeah. has four pumpkins on top of his shoulders. I'm going to be honest, this isn't much of a competition. Well, Ladies and gentlemen, who am I kidding? Gentlemen, thank you for coming <laughs> to Drip or Drown 8. It's been fun. <laughs> Don't drown me. <laughs> it's not sexist. It's just because I'm assuming no girls watch this channel. I don't think that's an unfair assumption to make. Yeah. Given the absolute complete lack of any form of brain cells involved. Thank you one more time for watching Drip or Drown 8. I think that's been the number. If I've been saying it's 8 and it's not this entire time and I've just been <laughs> wrong, that's going to be really awkward when I go back to edit. So um, thank you one more time for being here and I hope you have a great rest of your day. I will leave the screen to fade out on Donkey Kong. Thanks for coming. Cheers. Okay, there we go. That's the end of the video. You were just staring at the wall on my screen. Yeah, let me let me just stand here like a stupid idiot looking at this stupid oh, I, monkey. I, I love that the sprays are. <laughs> it's Donkey Bong dot two thousand nine.